Hey there, it's Jenny from Southern Savers. It's time for our Monday night live Q&A. Uh, it's always a fun time for you guys to ask whatever questions you have, saving money, grocery shopping, whatever. You have my time for the next hour or so, so ask away. Uh, I always try to come with a topic too, so my topic for tonight, I thought it would be fun uh, and hopefully helpful for folks if we did like a mini coupon workshop. So we're going to do Grocery Savings 101. For some of you, it's a refresher, but it's still some good stuff to cover because you're probably not doing it all right. Uh, I don't know that we all do it all right, um, but that's what we're going to start with and then we're, we'll go wherever your questions take us. So leave your questions in the comments right below the video, um, comments live on Facebook or from wherever. Uh, if you're watching straight from Southern Savers site, uh, the comments that are right there in the post or on YouTube. Um, so it's always fun to see everybody that joins in. We've already already got someone from Hawaii and Tennessee. That's uh, awesome to see folks from all over the place. Uh, and hopefully our Grocery Savings 101 is going to work no matter where you live. So uh, that's always something that folks will ask me too. Like, does this apply? I don't live in the South. Yes, we still go grocery shopping the same ways. So the first thing that I want to talk about while we're waiting on any questions that you guys have um, is let's just chat about how we should grocery shop. So this is Publix's weekly ad that starts in a couple days. We're going Easter, uh, whether you're ready for it or not, Easter's coming. Um, so first off, heading to the store, the first thing that we want to do obviously is shop with what's on sale, but so many people don't do that. Um, most of us would say, yeah, I kind of watch the sales or I look through the weekly ad and I um, will grab a few of the things that I think we'll use, but that's not actually the way that we want to shop because whatever is in this weekly ad this week is not going to be back in this weekly ad for six more weeks and some of them even longer. You aren't going to see that guy for ooh, like all the way till Thanksgiving. Um, so if you want... <laughs> A ham. This is a really good time to grab it. Awesome. Uh, I love where everyone's from, um, from literally all over the place uh, tonight. So what I mean by that, though, a ham's an exception, one of our few exceptions. But when we look through any weekly ad and we see, I'm trying to find a good one for you guys. Here we go. Uh, we see, you know, any kind of buy one, get one deals. So buy one, get one bacon those items, I'm not going to see that deal again for six more weeks. So if you eat bacon every night, hopefully you don't, but you know what I mean, you need to get enough to last you on whatever is a really good price this week until it is back on sale. And that's where most people go wrong. So they look through this weekly ad and they see the few deals that they want to grab and they grab one of them and they head home and they feel like they've done a really great job. Um, but actually, to get the best savings, I wanna go in, I wanna focus on what's on sale, and I wanna grab enough of those items to last me until they're back on sale. So this applies no matter where you're shopping at. So we can start grabbing all sorts of ads. Every grocery store runs like clockwork on a six to eight week sale cycle. So Cheryl, I'm answering your question for you. Uh, every grocery store. So when I see that it's on sale this week in my store, I wanna get enough to last me until it is back on sale in my store. Now keep in mind, not every store, I've got, I, Monday is my get ready for the new, new weekly ads. So I have all the new ads here, Publix and Bilo. It doesn't mean that the same things are on sale in both stores. Yes, we see spiral cut ham, but again, that's an exception, guys. And by the way, Bilo wins, in case you can't tell that. Um, Bilo totally has the lower price. Oop, there we go, YouTube folks. That's really tricky to get it into two screens. Um, but no matter the store you pick, so pick the store that is your favorite store for shopping at, whatever one's closest to you, everything's gonna come on sale at your store. So there's no need to try to go to every store in a 100 mile radius. You'll go crazy and you're not really gonna save any more money. So pick the store that's closest to you and we wanna focus on that store. Now, 
First step, obviously, I wanna buy what's on sale and I wanna buy enough of it to last me until it's on sale again, but the biggest part there is figuring out what in the world's on sale. That's hard for some people. Um, so our focus to truly save the most money is to look for items that are 40% off or more. And I want you to like uh, write that in Sharpie marker on your hand if you have to, to remind yourself in the store. So 40% off or more. It's not the entire store and it's also not the entire weekly ad. Uh, so this guy right here, it's made by a marketing department, guys. I say this in almost every workshop. And marketing departments, their only purpose for existing is to increase the revenue for the store. It's not to hold your hand and tell you what's on sale. So it's very nice of them, uh, but this isn't really trustworthy. Just because it's in the ad does not mean it's a good deal. So what you're looking for, and if you guys look at this one, you'll actually see I've done this. This is what I do every, every Monday. What you wanna do is go through this ad and circle it. And if you've circled it, then we're gonna go and we're gonna try to find coupons for those items so that we can get the best deal possible. So I want you to go through, I want you to not look at the picture, don't look at this part. I want you to get used to looking at this. And I know for all my Facebook folks, this is backwards, but my YouTube folks, it's not. We wanna look at the math. Most weekly ads give us math. So even Publix does, Publix sticks their math in green lines down at the bottom. And again, it's okay if you can't read it, guys. It's just the point. I want you to look at the math. The math is telling you how much you're saving on those items. Our goal is to only buy it if it's 40% off or more. So there are gonna be moments in the weekly ad. I'm looking for an example, here we go. <clears throat> There's always an example, thanks Publix, um, where we're gonna have, let's see, we're gonna have all sorts of deals that all have math. So you can see every single thing has math and show to you guys. Um, I feel like I'm like reading a book to lots of kids. So when I see that, but then all of a sudden, if you can see one item has no math whatsoever, no math there. It's because there wasn't anything nice to say. It's not on sale. So if you're looking through an entire weekly ad and there's math everywhere, they're all on there telling you how much you're saving. These guys are all buy one, get one. You are totally beat the 40% off mark. Um, but then all of a sudden I find something with no math whatsoever. This Sister Schubert's for three bucks. That's because it's normally like $3.29. And they know that if they told you that you were going to save 29 cents today, you wouldn't get very excited. So they don't say anything at all. So any ad that you're looking through, use that math. Uh, and just so you know, yep, uh, Kroger stores, Aaron, you're right. Kroger is the one store in the Southeast that doesn't put any math in their ads. So for Kroger, you're on your own in a sense, um, but I have some help for you and you probably know I'm gonna go there, um, but start there. So if you're trying to figure out, if you're an ad person, you just like to get this out and you like to touch it and figure out what's on sale, we wanna look at the math. Uh, we don't wanna look at the picture. We don't wanna look at the price. We want to look at how much we're saving. So we're looking for that 40% off or more. All our buy one get ones are in. Um, and just to kind of squelch anyone that is a anti-grocery store shopper, um, these buy one get ones, they've already beaten the Walmart price. And you can't even price match them in Walmart anymore. They are a great deal. So yes, they may raise that retail price up higher than we might see on other sales but it's still a really great price. So buy one, get ones are in. Then we're looking for anything else that's 40% off or more. And then we wanna match coupons with those items. Now, this is where I'm gonna plug Southern Savers because uh, if you've not used the site, the lists that are on Southern Savers, guys, I don't waste my time typing. How many pages is this? This is a massive public ad because it's running for a week and a half. Uh, it's a 20 page ad. I do not waste my time typing this entire ad. I only type the items that are 40% off or more. So if you've ever used the Southern Savers list or never used them, whatever's listed there for Publix, those are only the items that are 40% off or more. My goal is to make this as simple as I can for you so that you can just look at the list, mark what it is that you want, make your shopping list and head to the store. So ultimately you don't have to use a weekly ad unless you really want to but just so you kind of see that that's all been done for you. So we see that it's a really great price. 
And then we want to buy enough to last us that six weeks. So like I was mentioning, if it's in this ad now, it's not going to be back in that ad for another six weeks. So if you go in, to give you an example, um, this one. We go in and you can get Barilla Pasta for 25 cents a box. I'm making this one up, by the way, but we see it on a regular basis. So if you go in and you see that this is 25 cents a box and you buy one, well, two weeks from now in my house, I'm going to need spaghetti uh, with seven of us. We go through a box when we eat spaghetti. That's just one night's dinner. I'm going to need more. So I'm not going to find it at 25 cents the next time I come in. I should have gotten enough when it was on sale. Now, uh, heads up, guys, it's just six weeks. So I don't need 42. It will come on sale again. And you can chant that to yourself if you need to. I promise it is not the last spaghetti sale you're ever going to see. You just need enough for six weeks. So don't go overboard here, but do get enough. And even if you live alone, spaghetti may not be a great example for you either because you may be gluten-free, but we all buy different things, but most of us use more than one of them in a six-week period of time. So no matter what you're grabbing, you want to get enough for your household for six weeks, however much that is. So just to kind of, you know, put that out there, it applies to everybody, even if you live alone or you're gluten-free, don't, don't buy any of that pasta if you don't need it, but buy six weeks worth of what you do need for your household. Okay, let me jump into some questions now and then we'll jump back. Um, uh, let's see, so Jonathan says, I've been having problems printing coupons. It let me print the same coupon um, and it didn't print once, uh, once it sent it to the printer. So the printer, said that it printed them, Jonathan, and then you never got it, I'm guessing, um, is your question. So if that happens, the best thing to do, and this seems kind of silly, turn the printer on, turn the printer off, make sure that they're on the same Wi-Fi as your computer, because that's what's going to make it actually print. Uh, and then it, probably making sure that even your computer is running you know, the latest version of Java, because that's what a lot of these coupon printing softwares run on. Um, those are the kind of the basic check the boxes and make sure you've done all of that. Um, but if it's still not working, you know that you're on the right wireless and you're not getting any coupons whatsoever, I would next try switching web browsers. So if you're on Internet Explorer, let's switch to Chrome or Firefox and see if that happens too, or it still happens. But a lot of times switching web browsers will also do the trick. Um, Let's see, so Cynthia, I might have missed your question. I'm not, um, let's see. Um, oh, okay, I, I guess I missed the rest of your question, Cynthia. I'm not a big discount store shopper for groceries. Um, so someone asked me this past weekend when I was doing a workshop, what about the Dollar Tree and dollar stores? Um, and that's one where you really have to be careful, too, because you'll go into Dollar Tree and they sell, uh, you know, uh, Glad frozen bags, freezer bags, and they're an eight count box. It's a really tiny box and they sell them for a dollar and you've got a coupon maybe so you can get them for 50 cents. But I could go into Publix and buy a 30 count box of freezer bags for a dollar after the same coupon. So you're getting eight count for 50 cents, I'm gonna get 30 for a dollar. So that's the tricky part with the dollar store is that the, the amounts that they sell, the package sizes that they sell are so small that a lot of times you're kind of stuck with the, you didn't really get a deal when we look down to the amount per size basically uh, that you're gonna get if you had gone with the deal in the grocery store. Um, Okay, so Jonathan's saying that it, it le actually let you print extra. So the print limits um, already let me print it again, even though it didn't print it at all. Um, I, I guess I may not fully still understand, Jonathan, but um, if it's letting you print extra, sometimes the print limits are reset. So you already printed something, and then you come back, and it's back up on the site, and it's going to let you print it again. It's kind of a fun night, and it does happen a lot around the end of the month and beginning of the new month. So we're right here, it's right at the beginning of April. 
So you could have printed it in March and then you get to print it again because they'll reset the limits. Um, okay. Uh, um, let's go into some coupon side. So Cheryl's saying, I love to use Publix coupons at Bilo. Me too. So once we figured out, to kind of jump to that next part, we figured out that it's a great price uh, and I'm going to get six of it or however many I need to get through six weeks. So there's not a ton that I end up getting six of, um, unless it's cereal. In my house, we go through a lot of cereal. But if I'm ready to go shopping, I've figured out what's on sale, I know about how much we need to get us through, then I want to start gathering the coupons. Um, and the coupons are where some folks get lost, so we wanna start with the Sunday paper. And that's the Smart Source and the Red Plums. Um, these are mine that just came in the mail. So we get uh, inserts in most Sunday papers. I say most, not all. There won't be any inserts the Sunday of Easter. So just go ahead and mark that one off. You get the weekend off. Um, but we wanna get the Sunday paper for these guys. Not all Sunday papers are made equal, guys. So you wanna get the biggest paper that's available to you, which in some situations is definitely not your local paper. Um, so I mentioned that I just got mine from the mail. I do get mine from a different city. So you can do that. It, it exists, lots of people do. So I order mine from sundaycouponinserts.com. There are lots of websites that do this, but it's hard for me to kind of recommend that you use something that I've never tried. So that's the only reason that I recommend that one uh, is because I've tried it. SundayCouponInserts.com. Uh, the smart sources come out of Tampa. The red plums are usually out of the Atlanta area um, or it's just kind of wherever they can grab them from. So that's the only tricky part there is that your red plums can be from all over the place. I'm looking to see where these are. So this week, the red plums are actually from the Dallas area. Um, so it's you can look at that. You can always see right on the spine if you're curious where your papers came from. There, a whole bunch of cities will be listed right on that spine. The dates are also on there. So if you are, you know, you have some old inserts lying around and you can't figure out where they're from, um, the dates right there on the spine. So it's not hard to find. But we do want to get the Sunday paper. I would recommend that you get at least two. The reason for that, you want to get at least six weeks worth of whatever you're gonna use. So I need probably two of most items already just with the six week sale cycle. And then I um, am probably also going to run into some buy one get one sales and CVS and other places where I have to buy both of them. So if I'm in a store that requires that I buy both of them, like all my folks in Florida, where you have to buy both of everything when it's buy one get one, the rest of us do not. We only have to do that in the drugstores. But if I'm in CVS in my neck of the woods, I've got to buy both of them. I want two coupons to be able to get the best deal. So at least two on the Sunday papers. Um, and then with... Um, Let's move to printables. So one of the reasons that I don't need 47 inserts is that I can print a lot as well. Um, so that's kind of where Jonathan's questions are coming in. There are tons of printables that you can get online. Please don't go and print them all. We're talking like thousands of printables. But do focus on the ones that are high value, that are brands you know you're gonna use. Um, you know, there are things that you're always buying, whether it's on sale right now or not. You, you have no doubt that you will end up putting this coupon to use. Let's go ahead and grab that coupon. Uh, and then for me, my third rule is anything that's produce. So if I find a frozen vegetables coupon or we've even seen, you know, 75 cents off two avocados, whatever it might be, I'll go ahead and grab that when I see it as well. So high value, brands I know I'll use, and produce coupons are kind of my three rules for whether or not I'm gonna print it right now or I'm just gonna leave it there and I'm gonna print it when it ends up on my shopping list. So uh, again, I mentioned Southern Savers. I'm not gonna type up the whole Publix ad. What we do type up, then we're gonna go ahead and match in all the coupons that are available for it. So for example, our Duke's Mayo here, um, which is on sale starting Wednesday in Bilo, uh, in the South, this is a pretty exciting product. Um, so Duke's, I've got a 55 cent coupon and this particular grocery store doubles that coupon. So that's gonna make a $1.10 off of Duke's Mayo. 
it's going to make it cost $1.90 after the sale and after the coupon, which isn't a bad price. So that's our goal. Match in that sale and now use my coupon. So I'm not going to just grab them from the Sunday paper and use them this week. I'm going to end up saving them and using them when I know they're on sale. So um, really fast. We're not going to get into full organization tonight, but I will tell you that I don't cut these guys until I need them. I keep them whole, and I've done a lot of videos on that, so if you head to YouTube, uh, our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash southern savers, you'll see a lot of videos on organization. Um, but for me, I actually take these, I write the date really huge on the front, and then they all get put in, in an accordion file folder together, just everything from that Sunday in the same file so that I'm good and ready to go when it shows up on my shopping list, I'm gonna reach in, I'm gonna find the SS uh, from 325. That's what it's gonna say on your shopping list. Then you're gonna come, you're gonna cut that coupon and head to the store. Try to make it as simple as you can. Um, <laughs> uh, Kelly says she has a pasta addiction. You don't need 42 in a six week period. I don't know about that. That's a lot of pasta. Um, Okay, at one point I was buying my coupons from a larger area. So Anne, I just kind of answered your question as I scroll down and Kelly did too. So that's the sundaycouponinserts.com. Um, let's see. And um, as we, how many coupons can you use at Publix at one time? I find a lot of stores have limits. It's a really good question, Peter. So most stores, the limit is normally on the number that you're allowed to buy. So Publix does have a limit that you cannot um, technically get more than eight of a deal. In other words, if I had a coupon, um, make me dig through here and see what all I've got. But if I've got a coupon like this guy, it's not really that great of a coupon because we have a better printable one. Um, but $3 off two Huggies diapers is what that guy's for. Then that one is for two packages. If I was going to buy eight, I could use up to four of that. Um, but I'm allowed one manufacturer's coupon per item that I'm purchasing. It's going to be up to your store as to where they cut you off Publix-wise. But most of them enforce a limit of eight on the very, very good deals. Um, store coupons for Publix do technically state a limit of one coupon per transaction. So keep that in mind. They could limit you on those store coupons too in that whole total transaction. Um, other stores have different policies, Peter. So for instance, Bilo, which is near me, will only double five like coupons in the same transaction. Technically, they would do more, um, but that's where they normally stop. Kroger um, has another fun, uh, not so fun, limit. Kroger will only take two like printable coupons in the same transaction. So a lot of times it's just learning your store's policy because they do all have a lot of differences to them, um, even from the corporate side and then down to what that store follows from the corporate side. Um, okay, and then I know there was some questions. Uh, there were a few areas that did not get the Procter & Gamble this past weekend. Um, I'm not, I have no clue why your, your area didn't. Sometimes when that happens, it just didn't get shipped. And hopefully you'll find that they are in your paper next weekend. Um, but those are usually delivered to the paper. The paper does not print these in their area. They come in the mail and then the paper distributes them with their um, newspaper. So if you ever miss out on one, let's hope that that was the situation. They just didn't come to your area in time and you'll get them next week. But you could pop online and try to find them from another source. So if you wanted to still have them, order them from another area. Um, okay, uh, so Tammy's saying, where do we start? So we've kind of already covered some of the basics, Tammy. Uh, the big thing, again, if you're just joining us, we want to buy what's on sale, and we want to buy enough of it to last us until it's on sale again. Now, I want to cover one thing on that buying what's on sale, guys. How many of you sit in your pantry or in front of your fridge and make a list of what you're out of before you go to the store. I would say that's like 90% of us. You have to realize that when you make a list of what you're out of, you very effectively have made a list of what's not on sale today. Um, so that is need-based shopping, and that's what most people do. 
But when you are need-based shopping, you are not gonna get the best deal possible. So we actually want to truly just be sale-based shoppers, which means that I only buy it when it's on sale. So to be able to do that is gonna take a little bit of time. I, I can't walk into one Publix ad and not have to have anything ever again. The whole store is not on sale next week. It is a very large ad, uh, but it's not that large. So if I were to walk in, I'm gonna get six weeks worth, trying to kind of flip to some general things. I'm gonna get six weeks worth of the things that we do need. Maybe I need some cheese. Uh, we've got a lot of basics in this coming ad, but I'm not gonna get six weeks worth of everything because the whole store is not on sale. So my first week out, I'm going in, I'm buying what's on sale, and I'm buying enough of it to last, but I still have to have things. So buy one week worth of what you have to have, that bottom part of your list that you've just written all of it, that in, one week worth of what you have to have. Next week, one week worth of what you have to have again, but six weeks worth of what's on sale. And each week that you go through more and more of the sale cycles and more and more of the flyers, your have to have section is gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller because you're buying more and more of what's on sale. I have to get through a few weeks before I no longer need anything though. So do realize that to completely change the way you shop takes a few weeks. But once you do, once you no longer have to have anything, you're doing pretty good. You know, my have to have on a normal week is milk and bread and some produce, but I would encourage you to get a lot of your produce outside of the grocery store too. Milk and bread, I can add that in. It's not a big deal uh, wherever I'm headed to, and I do not make extra trips for milk to Aldi. That's just craziness to me because um, I'm hauling around kids. So we're going to grab our milk and our bread wherever we're at, um, but I don't have to have anything else. So it's going to take a few weeks, but you're going to be able to get there. Um, let's see. So some folks are asking questions about, um, Shanna's asking specifically the Harris Teeter rain check policy. Um, yes, and this that's a really big one. I know it, it has upset a lot of people in Harris Teeter land. Um, the new Harris Teeter rain check policy does not allow any coupons to be used with it, which really blows a big hole in super doubles, which is going on right now. If you have a Harris Teeter within... I don't know, 25, 30 minutes, I would go. If you've never been to a Super Doubles, um, a Super Doubles is a fun time. So any coupon, like this guy, any coupon $2 or less in value doubles. So you've got a $1.50 off coupon, it's now worth $3 off of one product. So Super Doubles is a fun place to be. Uh, they're running it through tomorrow night at Harris Teeter. We've, we've got two big lists up on the site so you can get an idea of deals and head to the store. But what most folks used to do was shop their rain checks. They would gather rain checks and then they would use them during Super, du Super Doubles weeks. They have nixed using any coupons with rain checks. And really, Super Double Week is the only thing that I can think of as to a reason to do that because they will always get reimbursed for the coupon. It's just something that they decided to do corporate-wide, though, so there's not much that we can do about it. Uh, I know a lot of folks are upset about it, though. So I, if anything, I would just kind of move on and get your rain checks from other stores. Um, so the $3 off Tide coupon, Cheryl, a lot of folks are saying it beeps. I, I've heard that as well. Um, in Most stores will still take it uh, because... It is for the actual item. When they code them wrong, there's not much that anybody can do about it, and that's what it is. It's not coded for the actual product. Um, you know, somebody sitting at a desk didn't do a very good job, and you're gonna get a lot of coupons that do that. One in particular, just to give you a heads up, I have never met a Dixie Crystals sugar coupon that would scan correctly in a grocery store. So um, somebody needs to find that person and really uh, help them out because they've messed up every single time Dixie Crystals puts out a coupon. But you are gonna find issues with that. Uh, if it's from the Sunday paper, if you actually got that Tide coupon in your Procter & Gamble, which not a lot of folks did, um, most stores will always push through an insert coupon without any issues. If you printed it, you're gonna have some issues because very few stores will ever push through a printable coupon. It's just the ones from the inserts that we actually still have some hope in being able to use. Um, 
Okay. So the all deal on laundry soap, Jonathan, there is a um, Kroger five-time use e-coupon for all detergent. And then we have a manufacturer's coupon for all detergent. And I know this gets everybody's panties in a wad. But you can use Kroger five-time use e-coupons with manufacturer's coupons. They're the only ones that you can. You cannot use traditional e-coupons from Kroger with manufacturer's coupons, but the five-time use ones you can. So we're going to use that five-time use e-coupon and the all printable or uh, Sunday insert coupon together, and you end up getting all detergent for 99 cents in the end, pairing the two together. Uh, keep in mind, it's only the five-time use e-coupons that will let you do that. And I know last week, I don't know if it's still there this week, but last week we actually had a five-time use e-coupon and a traditional Kroger e-coupon. Those will both come off of the register on the same item. Um, so if there's any proof that these both work, that's the most fun one when you see the traditional e-coupon and the five-time use e-coupon right at the register on the exact same item. So that is the all deal. Um, Okay, is it worth it to try Bilo over Publix and Kroger? So let's talk, how do we pick which store to actually be in? Um, I would say yes, depending on the area that you're in and how far away um, you are from those stores, it is. So when I'm going to pick a grocery store, I want you to think about all the stores in your area. The first thing we want to look at is coupon policy. Do they double coupons? Do they take competitor coupons? Do they do anything fun? Um, so heads up for all my food lion shoppers, there went food lion. They don't do anything fun. Um, they don't double, they don't take competitors, and they don't have a lot of promotions running. So food lion's lowest of the rung. Bilo rises to the top. Bilo still doubles in the southeast. They take a ton of competitor coupons, including the awesome Target coupon from the Target Weekly ad this week on $5 off of a $20 cleaning supply purchase. Um, so they're going to take Target coupons and Publix and Kroger, pretty much anything that you can throw at them, Bilo is going to take. Um, and they're doubling all those coupons, and they have a ton of buy and get one deals. Um, so to me, Bilo wins. Publix and Kroger are kind of neck and neck. This, this ad that starts Wednesday, and these deals, by the way, oh, um, I'm throwing things on the floor. These deals, by the way, are already up on Southern Savers. If you want to look at this whole ad, I'm not trying to tease you. You can actually go see it all. Um, but the Publix deals, this week there's 100 buy one get one deals. That's a great week to be in Publix. Um, when Kroger runs a mega event, that's also a great week to be in Kroger. We do have a new mega event that starts this coming Wednesday. Um, so it's kind of whichever one's closest to you. Neither store doubles coupons. Publix does take competitors, but very few. Um, so in my area, the stores that they accept as a Publix competitor, I, I don't have any coupons from those stores. Bilo doesn't put out uh, store coupons. Food Lion rarely has store coupons. So you're not left with a ton to get excited about. Kroger doesn't take any. Um, so look at their coupon policy and then start to look at their promotions. Do they run a lot of BOGOs? Do they run those mega events? Do they run other types of promotions to kind of get that savings uh, lower before you even use the coupon? Uh, that would be the next thing. And then the last thing to look at is their rain check policy, which I just mentioned Harris Teeter just made their stink. Um, but some of the other stores are still great. Publix probably has one of the better rain check policies. Rain check meaning, in case you're completely new to this, you go in, uh, I'm trying to think, oh, there is a, a, a fun deal. You go in and you want to grab uh, free French's mustard starting Wednesday in Publix. And obviously, uh, like this is six weeks worth of mustard for me, plus some. So most of us only need one bottle, guys. We don't need 32 bottles of mustard either. Um, so get six weeks worth, get your one bottle. But if you go in, by the time you get there, there's no more French's mustard get a rain check. Um, and Publix rain checks are good for 30 days. A lot of grocery stores, about 30 days. But Publix has a perk. And that is that if I go in today and my coupon was going to expire tomorrow, they don't have any more. They're not going to have any more by tomorrow either. As long as my coupon was good the day my rain check was written, then I may continue to use that expired coupon until my rain check expires. And they're the only store that lets us do this, so it's a fun perk for Publix. 
just always remember that. So I can still use that coupon as long as the rain check is still good. Um, Publix, what I would recommend, just ask them to staple those coupons straight to the rain check so that you don't mess up. Um, I won't get home and throw them away. I know that they go together because they're stuck together until I use the rain check. So kind of an inside tip on how to handle all of that. Um, so Cheryl asks, do I use a binder? I do not, Cheryl. I keep my inserts whole and I use an accordion or a hanging file folder. So I only come back to my inserts when they show up on my shopping list. So if my shopping list says to come and cut the 50 cents off Halo's oranges, then I'm going to pull up this week's Smart Source insert and I'm going to cut that coupon so that I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, Wanda, I wish I knew why Procter & Gamble is going to this new, uh, you have to go online and print your coupons. I think what it is is they're wanting people to realize that there are printable coupons that they can get online and they know that Tide will do it. Um, so Tide is the largest brand for Procter & Gamble of everything that they sell. In the Southeast, it has a 45% market share. That's massive. Uh, so they know that if they don't give you your Tide coupons, but they tell you you have to go online and print them, that you will. Uh, and then all of a sudden, you're going to realize how many printable coupons they have available. And that's really what their push is. Um, there are still areas that are getting those Tide coupons, though. So uh, finding the area that you're in. So for me, my inserts come from the Tampa St. Pete area and they got the Tide coupon. So it's kind of maybe finding out which areas they are and, and trying to get those inserts for a while. Um, okay, so Mary Louise has a really good uh, comment that's kind of a learning point for a lot of folks. I did a video on this, it's on our Facebook videos. I think it's also on our YouTube account. Some changes to, to coupons.com. And this is a big one with their new text message verification system. So when you now go to their site, if you haven't done this recently, if you haven't printed coupons in a while, you're going to be asked to, to get a text message code to then enter on their website. And when you do that, you're verifying your account. But if you verify your laptop and your phone and your husband's laptop, all with the same phone number, you will be limited to two coupons for all of those devices. So Mary Louise, you're right. In the past, we were allowed two coupons per computer. It didn't matter how many computers you had, but now it's really two coupons per phone number. So I need to verify my computer with my phone number, my husband's computer with his phone number, um, and then I'm gonna be allowed two per computer. But just make sure you've done that. If you've already verified those devices, and in a sense you're like, ah, I screwed up, what I would recommend first is to just try switching web browsers um, because it's really a cookie that they're using in their system to remember that you're logged in. So a new web browser is gonna mean a new cookie. Uh, if that doesn't work, then you can try clearing your browsing history, but just the web browser should work automatically. Uh, and giving you that second set of coupons. Um, hopefully, anyway, that that will work for you. Um, Amanda says, are there any good deals at Piggly Wiggly? So the tricky part with small grocery stores, Amanda, so this is the IGAs, uh, you know, just uh, little mom and pop stores, is that they are all independently owned and operated, and Piggly Wiggly falls into that, that suit as well. So it's, I can't give you a list, they're all different. Uh, and most of the time, if you look at their weekly ads, it's all produce and meat and very, very few national brands. So you don't have anything to really get an idea of what you were going to grab before you went to the store. You would have to just go in there with all your coupons and hope that you found something good, but you're going to be in the dark as you head in because the um, store just isn't going to give you anything in the weekly ad to run with. Um, okay, uh, and for someone else was mentioning that the North Carolina area did not have the Procter & Gamble, but their, uh, Shanna is saying that the midweek mailer did get the Procter & Gamble insert. So if you're in the North Carolina area and you missed it this past Sunday, um, maybe checking to see if a neighbor got that um, midweek mailer and they would share it with you if you missed out on it. Um, 
Okay. Yes. So, Patricia, the Procter & Gamble expiration dates, they're not all at the two-week mark, but a lot of them are. And part of that's because they've started putting out um, bi-monthly inserts, and they don't like for you to still have some inserts left over. Um, so whenever they give you one, they want it to be only good for the short amount of time that they've given it to you. But you will notice in the Procter & Gamble insert from this past weekend, we had a mix. Um, some are good through the 15th, and then some are good through the 29th. So the coupons that they know are not going to be in that mid-month mailer, which possibly could be Easter weekend, as I tell you not to expect coupons that weekend. You possibly could have a Procter & Gamble. They like to do that. Um, so some of them are going to expire on 415, and then some expire really at the end of the month, and that's what it is. But any that are going to be out in the middle of the month, again, you're only going to have a two-week expiration date on them. Is it cost-effective to print off coupons on the computer? Yes, so printing coupons really doesn't have to cost anything uh, or much of anything at all. First off, we see tons of deals on printer paper. You can get a ream of paper for a dollar or less all the time. There's a deal this week at Office Depot and Office Max. Uh, we see deals at Staples from time to time as well. But this week, your paper deal is at Office Depot and Office Max, and that's online or in the store. So you can grab it and have it shipped to your house too. Um, so that's 500 sheets of paper for a buck. And then printer ink wise, I always encourage folks to consider switching printers. Um, I need to go work for Brother someday because that's the one that I, I try to get most folks to grab. It's a very cheap black and white laser printer. And it's usually the wireless on sale is usually around 80 bucks. Um, that printer though will print enough coupons for almost a year before you ever have to replace the toner in it. And the toner costs a whopping 10 bucks. Um, so you can get some very good deals on the toner. We actually got a two pack of toner for 20 bucks. It's enough ink uh, to last us two years, except that we have two of these little guys. Um, but just so you kind of see, that's where I would go. No more inkjet. You want to switch to a black and white laser printer. Um, so Barbara says, I'm no longer receiving percent off emails from CVS. And Barbara, you're not alone. I'm not getting them either, but I am getting a number of other CVS um, coupons just kind of scattered throughout the week and usually for specific items. Um, so if you're not getting anything at all, then I would recommend going to CVS.com and re-registering a different email address. You can then switch it back to yours like a week later, but it's just something to kind of get you back into their system. If you are getting these kind of random off specific item ones, that's currently what they're doing. Um, they haven't been sending any five off 25s or 20% 20 off your total purchase kind of coupons in probably the last three or four weeks now. So you're not alone. Um, okay. Um, what do you say when you get cashiers or people behind you that say rude and embarrassing comments? So Glenna, for me, I don't, I don't normally have a huge problem with cashiers. They might be a little um, gruff uh, with just having to scan them, but like I will generally just make small talk with them and you know, hey, this is how I feed my family. Um, but if anything, say nothing if they're going to be really kind of grumpy about it. The folks behind me in line honestly are normally kind of cheering you on. They're excited to see how much you end up saving in the end, um, especially when you walk out and you've spent about 50 bucks and you've saved 120. Um, you kind of have your own little cheering section going on. Uh, but I would, if somebody's getting behind me and they've only got three or four things and I'm still putting groceries on the belt, um, first they should have realized this lady has a ton of groceries. But I will kind of say, hey, I've got coupons too, just so you know. Not only do I have a big buggy, but I have coupons. And I'm giving you that heads up before you put anything on the belt. So if you jump in line behind me, you, are, you have been uh, well advised of, of the situation before you ended up there. Um, but I, I haven't had anybody say anything else um, other than just kind of acting a little perturbed. And you just kind of let it go and, and not really mess with it. Uh, if I'll also turn to my kids and be like, hey, look at how much we're saving. Isn't this great? You know, and just kind of talk to them about it if that's the case. Talk to somebody else who, who does care. Um, 
Let's see. Okay, so I think we're kind of caught up on most everybody's questions. Um, so what kind of things do we regularly freeze? That's a good question. We're talking about getting things for six weeks. Um, what you want to get for six weeks sometimes can um, go not necessarily in the fridge. I can actually put it somewhere else. So we'll tend to freeze cheese if we're going to use it for baking. You can freeze milk. Um, you'll be surprised what can go in the freezer and doesn't have to go in the fridge. Uh, I do have an outside freezer. I would recommend it, but I'm not telling you. you have to it so nobody gets to go home uh, or gets to hop off this and tell them tell their husbands that they have to buy something. Um, but a lot of things can. We freeze butter. Uh, we freeze some bagels and some uh, bread to get us through and, and help us to get through, especially if there's a really great deal on it. Um, I would also recommend if you're going to do a lot of freezing that you look at getting a vacuum sealer so that things will last a little bit longer. And remember, a general rule of thumb is that um, six weeks is as long as a um, Ziploc bag should really last you. And if you plan on storing it any longer than six weeks, it really does need to be vacuum sealed. So just so you kind of have that kind of rule of thumb. Um, so Paul is saying in New Jersey, my ShopRite lets you stack a store coupon with a manufacturer sale, with a manufacturer coupon, and your favorite sale is a ten for ten. So Paul and or sorry Peter, I'm giving you a new name. Your last name is Paul Pulaski. Um, Peter is saying that. What I would recommend for anybody is anytime you find a store coupon, you should always be looking for a manufacturer's coupon to go with that store coupon. So I mentioned the Target Weekly ad this week has the $5 off of any $20 in cleaning supplies. Well, I want to turn around and use that 5 off 20 cleaning supply coupon first. And then I want to start using any other coupons that I can find for cleaning supplies. Um, and you'll have a lot that pair in and make that a really, really great deal. So that is not just grocery store. Um, that is really going to be... Target, Walgreens, CVS, all sorts of places. So anytime you can find a store coupon, you always want to pair a manufacturer's coupon with it. A really good example right now, um, I don't even know what this is. It just came out within the last month. Um, but a new allergy medicine. Uh, we have a $5 off coupon. And Walgreens has another $5 off coupon um, for the same size in their Walgreens monthly booklet. So that's $10 off pairing that store coupon and this manufacturer's coupon together on the same product. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is, but maybe some of you guys need it. But just so we kind of all get that point, that's a really great way to save and should be something that anybody's doing. So whenever you spot a store coupon, always going on the hunt for a manufacturer's coupon to use with it. Um, every single store is going to let you do that. Um, so a lot of folks talking Harris Teeter. They did get bought by Kroger. Yes, um, Kroger bought Harris Teeter over, really over almost two years ago now. They have not converted much uh, in terms of the two stores, but we will see more and more in terms of uh, eventually Kroger kind of assimilating Harris Teeter. This rain check policy is not Kroger corporate policy though, just so everyone's clear on that. Kroger rain checks do let you use manufacturer's coupons with them. This is truly just a Harris Teeter policy, uh, not Kroger corporate wide uh, policy at all. Um, so let's see. Are they going to get rid of super doubles? No. Well, yes and no, Catherine. So we haven't seen a week long super double event in quite a while now. Uh, we've just seen these little three-day long super double events like what we're seeing right now. So I would say that's kind of your current change is to get used to possibly more but shorter coupon events. And then could it end up phasing out completely? Very likely. Uh, keep in mind Kroger Corporate owns 29 stores, uh, 29 different stores, one doubles coupons, and that's Harris Teeter. So I don't see them hanging on to that forever. Um, 
but for right now, they're not making a big move to change the policy. Um, let's see. Oh, and Kelly says, my public still doubles coupons. You are in a rare little bubble, Kelly, and I wouldn't really expect it to last for long. So there are just a few publixes that are left that still double coupons, but most of them do not. Um, and I would expect the rest to kind of follow suit. Bilo does not take any other store's electronic coupons, um, but they are going to take their printed ones, uh, ones that they mailed you. So you still have a lot to use, but I can't use another store's mobile coupons anywhere else. Um, so this week, that Target 5 off 20 coupon, you could get it on your phone and you could get it from the Target weekly ad. You can only use the one from the weekly ad in Bilo. Uh, I can't use it somewhere else. Um, it's okay. And do we need a, a rewards card in Publix? No, there's no rewards card whatsoever um, for Publix. You just head in, you buy what's on sale, and that those are just the sale items for you. Lots of questions tonight. Um, let's see. Does Amazon take Tide coupons? Erin, uh, only if Amazon puts them up on their site. So if you go to Amazon.com slash coupons, um, you'll see all the current coupons that are available on Amazon site. And if you see one for Tide, then you're going to be able to use it. They do have one in the picture right now for health and personal care. That doesn't always mean that there is one. Um, then you would clip it and you would be good to go. Um, Darlene, the website that I run is just like my Facebook name. So it's southernsavers.com. If you head there, you're going to see all of the current sales and the current coupons that go with um, all of the grocery stores in the Southeast and then nationwide stores like Walmart, Target, CVS, etc. cetera. Uh, how many Procter & Gamble coupons can we print at one time? You can print them all, but you're only going to be allowed two of each one of them. So if you see the 30 or 40 that are there, you can have a blast. I wouldn't really do that, but you're allowed two of each one. Um, let's see. What about Ingles? Okay, so Ingles to me gets put kind of in the food lion category. They do double coupons, which is good for them. Uh, you know, for folks in North Georgia, they're the only store that doubles coupons in your neck of the woods, but that they're going to double a 50 cent coupon or less. However, they only double three coupons for every $10 that you spend. And that is craziness to even have to keep track of. Um, so I wouldn't really shop there based on the doubles. The other tricky part with Ingles is that their promotions do not equal Publix. So Publix, I've got 100 BOGOs in the ad that starts on Wednesday. Ingles is going to end up with probably about 10. Um, there's just no competing with 100 BOGOs versus 10. Um, and they don't run the promotions and other types of sales either to compete with Kroger very much. Um, okay, uh, I know some other folks love them and I, it's not, it's more just trying to compare their sales along with other things. Um, so that's why Ingles ends up taking kind of a back seat. Um, let's see, I, I don't even, you guys are keeping me going with comments. I keep thinking I might be near the end, but I'm nowhere near the end. Um, Jenny, yes, I'm going to go all the way to the end and then start working my way back up maybe for a little bit. I do pay the subscription fee for Sunday Coupon Inserts. You have to, um, that, I mean, that's how it works. They're a company and they're mailing me the coupon. So I pay that. It is the same price that a Sunday paper would cost in my neck of the woods. So I'm not missing out on anything at all. Um, where is the best buy um, on the Brother Printer. I don't think it's on sale this week. The ink wise, I would head to um, Amazon for. That's where we get all of our Amazon toner from. Um, let's see. Um, is it okay to use Saving Star offers that say not to be used with any other coupon with a paper coupon? So Joyce, the Saving Star offers um, they will still take them with a paper coupon. And in their frequently asked questions, it says that they would prefer you to not use a paper coupon, um, but that you can still use them. Um, 
So it's kind of up to you as to how you go, but they are going to reimburse you on that. Um, that is really just kind of part of like what they would prefer you to do, but they're not going to stop you. The one exception being that if you shop in Walmart, uh, where Walmart lines up the coupon right below the item that you sent, they a lot of times will reject that receipt, but they'll never tell you why. Um, so that's why they're going to reject it, but that's their only little bit. It's just a, we would prefer you to not use it, but you still can. Um, well, uh, okay. I think I'm mostly caught up. Um, so some folks asking about just freezing produce in general and, um, what anything that you can get in the ground and grow, um, which, you know, someone was asking, what would you grow in the summer to freeze? Any produce really can be frozen, uh, long term. This is where Google is your friend. So search, you know, how to freeze corn, how to freeze whatever. Some of it you're going to need to blanch before it goes in the freezer so that you can stop the growing of it. Um, and that's going to help it to last a little longer. So uh, just put Google to work for you. But definitely even buying produce in bulk, guys, if you don't have a green thumb, but head to the farmer's market and buy produce in bulk so that you can put it up. Uh, my husband is like squash, you know, anything that you really can. But the big summer ones would be all of your gourds, um, squash. You can can all your, you turn your cucumbers into pickles. Um, we put up green beans, a lot of fruit as well. Um, anything that you can, can grab in bulk. Find a place to, find a way to freeze it. I have a question on buy one, get one deals. Do I need to use a coupon for the free item? I know that you can do that in Publix, but what about buy low? Um, so you're allowed to use a coupon uh, on every item that you buy on buy one, get one deals in any grocery store and at CVS, not at Walgreens and Rite Aid. So just so we emphasize, um, but what that means, if I go in today and this is buy one, get one, this is pretend by the way, but I go in today, this is buy one, get one, and I have a coupon I want to use a coupon on every single box that I buy. Um, so if I have a 50 cent coupon off of one box and I want to buy three boxes, I want to use three coupons. So always in the grocery store, doesn't matter the store you're at, doesn't even matter if you live in Florida and this rings up a, a full buy this one and one is free, they'll still take that other coupon and then CVS will also do that. So um, yes, hopefully that answers your question fully. Are Kroger Digital Coupons manufacturer's coupons? They say that they may not be combined with printed coupons. Yes, most Kroger e-coupons are manufacturer's coupons. They cannot be paired with any other coupons. However, Kroger five-time use e-coupons are the one exception. They're really like a store sale. The best thing to equate them to is like a Target Cartwheel coupon. It's your own sale in the store. Um, they will not, they can be paired with other coupons. To even emphasize how much those five-time use coupons are store sales, they won't work with a mega event. You cannot, they won't come off. If the item is a mega event item, you will not be able to use that five-time use e-coupon. It's a store sale. You can't combine the two sales, but you can combine uh, that store sale and the manufacturer's coupon every single time. Um, are the coupons listed in the CVS app section the only ones that are going to print out at the red box when your card is scanned. Mostly, Katie, there's one exception on that. Um, if CVS has in their weekly ad that they're printing a 50 cent off of a two liter soda or something like that, and it's a coupon that every single person is getting, a lot of times that does not show up in your app with CVS. But if I still enter my phone number, I will still get it. So there's usually one, maybe two coupons that aren't in my app that always print at the coupon center, but everything else from the coupon center will end up saying, you've gone paperless. Um, so just, it still never hurts to start there and to scan. Um, let's see. Um, I may have missed, Heidi, the beginning part of your question. Um, I guess you're asking Dollar General, can we use two coupons? So yes, we can. Uh, even at Dollar General, if it's buy one, get one, they're still going to take two coupons on that buy one, get one deal. 
Walgreens and Rite Aid are the only stores that specifically say that you cannot. Um, Target will also rarely take a coupon on a free item as well. It's not actually in their corporate policy, but they do when they run like a buy three, get one free. Target rarely will take a coupon on the one that's free. So CVS, Walgreens, and Target are the ones that we're going to put in that category. Um, so what uh, what's up with Winn-Dixie and Bilo's Plenty card? We talked about this a little bit um, a couple weeks ago, but Bilo and Winn-Dixie have switched to Plenty. This is the new ad that ha actually has Plenty deals in it. And guys, I love Bilo. I do most of my shopping in Bilo, but I'm actually slightly disappointed in them. Um, so I'll give you a heads up on a little bit of my disappointedness. I was trying to explain this to my husband tonight, um, but he probably doesn't care as much as I do. Um, so what they've done, and here's one little example for you. So I can't show you all at the same time since my computer uh, cameras aren't lined up. But you guys on YouTube can see the Keebler cookies. 20 points when you buy two. That's one of the deals. Guys, 20 plenty points is 20 cents. So you buy two Keebler cookies and you're going to get 20 cents back. That's not really something to get crazy excited about. So they're going to have to work on their excited part here um, to make people actually care. I think what's really going to happen is people are going to be really grumpy because they're used to five cents in fuel perks coming off of 20 gallons. So five cents means a lot more um, than it does here. But you're going to see that on a lot of items. Um, there are some others that I guess are a little higher. We do a, a number of items in this ad have plenty points, um, but they're just not super, super high value amounts. So just kind of be ready for that one. Don't get super excited hoping for just massive, massive amounts of plenty points. A hundred plenty points equals a dollar. Um, so when I see that I buy two Mott's applesauces and I get 20 plenty points, you just earn 20 cents. So as you go through the Bilo ad, and I'll have all of that up on the site in the morning. I have it all typed, and I, I coupon it uh, later tonight. Um, so we'll get it up in the morning. But when you see the full list, you'll kind of get that idea of how maybe not so great the deals are right now. And hopefully we'll see them get a little bit better as they get more used to plenty points. Um, okay. On my Target cartwheel today, I got a small notice telling me it was my lucky day. So, and Shanna, everybody got that. So if you haven't logged into Cartwheel, they unlocked Cartwheel last week. And every single person now has 50 spots to save as many Cartwheel offers as they'd like in Target. So it's kind of fun. Some of you that just started, you had like eight. So y'all just got uh, like a windfall of spots to save coupons to. I was up to about 24, so it's still doubled for me. I don't really know what you'll do with 50 cartwheel coupons, but you can now save a lot of them. Um, and Donna, I don't know much about Schnucks, um, but I'll gladly learn for you. If you have any questions, you can always email me, and I can help you try to figure that out too. Uh, and the same for anyone else. If we didn't get to uh, your specific question by the end of our Q&A, you can always email me, Jenny at southernsavers.com or send me a Facebook message and I'll gladly answer that as well. Um, it, it, so let's take, let's see, two more questions. Um, yeah, Heidi's saying you have to have 200 plenty points accumulated before you can redeem them. Uh, yes, you do. So at 20 points and 40 points, it's gonna take you a little bit. You're gonna have to buy a number of these um, to be able to redeem them. Um, and Donna, I have someone named Dana who's chiming in on the Facebook side and saying that Schnucks is awesome because they double coupons. So I, I would agree with you. Any store that's still doubling coupons definitely earns a gold star in my book. Um, and then one question on meat because we didn't really get there in terms of general grocery savings. Kimora says we don't have Zacon or anything like Zacon. Uh, is meat at Costco a good price? Um, so what we really want to look for, bulk is probably the best way to go. And if you can get that bulk price at Costco, then yes. The tricky part is that a lot of times Costco, Sam's, BJ's, their everyday price on meat is the sale price at the grocery store. So if I'm going to go in and I'm going to get boneless, skinless chicken breasts for $1.99 a pound in Costco, I could actually get that in the grocery store. And then I haven't actually saved anything because I had to pay to be a member at Costco, BJ's, and Sam's. 
I don't have to be a member at the grocery store. Yes, I can get that price every single time that I go into Sam's and Costco, but if I wait, I can still get that price in the grocery store. So that's the tricky part. If you can beat the grocery store sale price, then by all means go for it in the warehouse clubs, but a lot of times you can't. Um, so that's where I then head to Zacon, or if you have a restaurant supply store, Kimura, that would be the other thing to look for. In our neck of the woods, we have a U.S. Foods chef store. Uh, anybody can shop there. You don't have to own a restaurant, and there's no membership fee, but their meat prices are insane. Like boneless, skinless chicken breasts for $1.10 a pound, uh, the grocery store can't touch that. It's so much cheaper than the grocery store. So looking in and seeing if you have something similar to that in your area might also be a savings if you don't have Zacon. Um, and Shanna's, we'll go with your question last, Shanna. Um, is there one city in the U.S. that gets the best inserts? So in the Southeast, Shanna, that's really how I could kind of tell you who wins. Atlanta wins in the Southeast. If you could get the Atlanta Journal, you would be sitting on like coupon heaven Charlotte and Jacksonville are the other kind of three um, best deals store-wise to go for. Um, so, or sorry, city-wise to go for. Okay, well, we hit lots of questions tonight. Um, feel free to share when this video is done and over with. It will kind of save and anybody can watch. So the whole beginning part was a great little even 10-minute section that was solely like how to save in the grocery store. So Please tag friends that you've been trying to teach how to do the basics of this. And we're going to jump into a little bit more next week. We're going to go organization and whatnot. Um, so I hope this helped you guys. Uh, and thanks for joining me. We can all hop off now and go watch a national championship basketball game uh, and see who wins. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Same time, same place. You guys have a great week.